Hi, thanks for checking out another video on my channel. This time I have got a device that I made from an idea that I got from an old June 1960 Popular Mechanics magazine. There is a website you can go to, it's in Google Books, where you can search or just peruse through um, all the old Popular Mechanics magazines right back to the early 1900s. And I've really seen some fascinating stuff in these magazines. The way they solved problems before there was any kind of electronics, some of the home hints, uh, some of the things now that would make you shudder, uh, special bandsaw blades for asbestos, for an example. But what this one is, this is a cam operated jack that you put underneath the axle of your trailer and then you drive forward and it cams the tire of your trailer up off the ground so you can change the tire when you get a the wheel when you get a, a flat tire so i made this just really out of some scrap steel that i had lying around the shed because i just thought i'd see if it worked first and it actually works very well so here you can see me fitting it on one side of the trailer and as you can see it slides under there quite easily and those rods those pieces of rod are there to stop it from sliding forward when you drive forward and as you can see it's very easy it, it just cams the wheel up off the ground and it's it lifts it to a height you've sort of got to calculate the height it's not overly difficult you just make sure that it kind of sits about four inches off the ground you see i can spin the tire there no worries it's about it's got clearance all around and it's got clearance underneath so I've got about four inches of clearance um, which is probably perfect for what you're doing this is how you get it off you just reverse back and it just falls off this is the same view from the other side this would be in Australia this would be the off-road side so this would be the safest side to do it from and once again you just it's going to wedge it under there and then you drive forward and it cams it up off the ground and once again you've sort of got to judge how far to drive it it's, it's not difficult once you've done it once or twice it's not difficult but i recommend anybody who makes or buys one of these just has a bit of a practice and then um, once again you'll see when i reverse back it just falls off no dramas at all and what i've done is so that I've got this with me all the time, I've decided I'd mount it on the side of the trailer. So I've had a couple of people ask me what it is and I've, and I've told them what it is and they, they seem to think it's quite clever, but I, once again, I stress, I didn't think of this. I got this idea from a popular mechanics magazine. Uh, it's just held in place with a couple of washers and an R clip, which go into a bolt that I've welded um, from the other side. It's just a cuphead bolt so that it's fairly flush on the inside of the trailer. And here you see me actually fitting it to the trailer. That's that's the pin that it goes on. A couple of washers just to take the slack up because we live on a dirt road. And that it's as it's as simple as that. That that R clip holds it in place. Anyway, once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I'll I've got a couple more videos to come in the next week or two. Uh, hopefully, my nasally voice will have will have eased off a bit by then it wasn't COVID. i did do a test but it's just airport germs from traveling to sydney and back so yeah once again thanks for tuning in and please like subscribe and click that notification bell so that uh, when i get around to putting another video up uh, you'll get a ding dong to let you know that it's there